Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the class of Principles of Microeconomics Econ 111. This is lecture number 19 and in this lecture we are going to study the various measures of cost. In today's discussion we are going to study the various methods of uh, calculating the cost and uh, we start with the cost of production uh, that can be divided into two types of cost and uh, one we call the fixed cost and the second one we call the variable cost now what is the difference between these two fixed costs are basically those costs that do not vary with the quantity of output produced uh, for example if you are producing 10 laptops and uh, we want to produce 20 laptops is it does not affect the rent of the factory or the rent of the land so uh, it does not vary with the output and uh, on the other hand the variable cost it varies with the output uh, if we are using uh, if we want to produce more laptops we will need more electricity we will need more plastic materials uh, uh, we will also need more screens and uh, the input cost uh, that is required with it we will need more labor for the production so all these do vary with the output so this is the basic difference between fixed cost and variable cost um, we may say that uh, the fixed cost it is function it is uh, not the function of quantity whatever quantity we produce it does not affect the fixed cost whereas the variable cost it is function of quantity then we have uh, the total cost and what is total cost it is basically the summation of the fixed cost and the variable cost so total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost and these two combine makes the total cost this is the formula total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost now uh, since total fixed cost is not the function of the uh, quantity whereas the total variable is the function of the quantity being the function of quantity the total cost automatically becomes a function of quantity because if you produce more quantity the total variable cost will increase and consequently the total cost will increase so again total cost is a function of quantity now we have this table and uh, this is an example for the quantity of lemonade glasses that is produced and we will see uh, we will calculate the total cost the fixed cost variable cost and then we will also try to find the averages for them and the marginal cost but for the time being our focus is on the total cost fixed cost and variable cost so here uh, in the first column we have uh, the quantity of lemonade glasses that are produced per hour and uh, when we are producing zero uh, glasses then we have a total cost of three and this total cost is summation of fixed cost plus variable cost now even if you are not producing any lemonade we will still be paying rent or uh, uh, any type of cost that is fixed that is not associated with the quantity but variable cost will be zero because we are producing nothing so this is equal to the addition of the fixed cost plus variable cost now in the next uh, case when we are producing one glass of lemonade we have 
a total fixed cost of 3 plus a total variable cost of 0.3 and adding these two we get 3.3 as the total cost then for the second glass again we add up these two 3 plus 0 0.8 and we get 3.8 as the total uh, as the total cost and we do this for all the remaining glasses up to the 10th glass where the uh, fixed cost is 3 it remains the same in all cases the fixed cost it will be 3 in all cases because it does not change with the quantity but now the variable cost for 10 units we require a total variable cost of 12 dollars or 12 rupees so adding these up we end up with a total cost of 15 so this is how we calculate uh, the total cost the and uh, we now understand what fixed cost is it does not change with any of the quantity and we now understand the variable cost as we produce more and more lemonade the variable cost is increasing now average cost let us discuss about the averages as well an average cost can be determined by dividing the firm's cost by the quantity of output it produces this is the basic simple method that we calculate the average cost and we can calculate average cost for for the total cost for the fixed cost and for the variable cost the average cost is the cost of each typical unit of output if we are producing 20 units how much cost per unit are we getting basically it means the cost per unit so let us find some of the average cost the average fixed cost what is the average fixed cost we know what is fixed cost and uh, when we divide fixed cost divided by quantity we get average fixed cost and what is average variable cost it is again in a similar way average variable cost is equal to variable cost divided by quantity so this is fixed cost per unit and this is variable cost per unit and average total cost is equal to total cost divided by quantity so we get average total cost now uh, we uh, we also know that the total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost and if we divide both sides by q we get total cost by q fixed cost by q and variable cost by q so this implies that average total cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost and this is how we derive our average total cost and its parts now one thing that is also interesting to note is that uh, the basic formula total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost variable cost is a function of quantity fixed cost is not a function of quantity and total cost is a function of quantity but when we talk about uh, the averages this again is a function of quantity average variable is a function of quantity but now average fixed cost is also a function of quantity why is this so 
because when we calculate the average fixed cost that equals to the average uh, that equals to the fixed cost divided by quantity so we cannot find the average fixed cost without using the quantity therefore now the average fixed cost is also a function of quantity it will change as quantity increase and in fact it will decline the value of average fixed cost will decline with each unit that is being produced now let us compare the average cost with marginal cost is there any difference between the two yes definitely there is a difference between the two average fixed cost is fixed cost divided by quantity and as i said it is a function of quantity average variable cost variable cost divided by quantity and the average total cost is total cost divided by quantity the marginal cost on the other hand is different from the average how uh, let us denote the marginal cost by mc and define it as that the marginal cost measures the increase in the total cost that arise from the extra unit of production just like um, earlier we discussed that when we are producing let's say we are producing 10 units and the 10 units uh, cost one thousand dollars or one thousand rupees and then we want to produce an extra unit the 11th unit and when we produce 11 units the cost is 1100 now what is the change the change is 100 so this 100 is the marginal cost the cost of producing one extra unit this is marginal on the other hand when we want to find the average we divide it by the entire quantity whereas when we find uh, want to find the marginal in order to find marginal we see how much an extra unit will cost how much uh, change in the cost occurs when we produce one more unit let's say if we want to produce 12th unit and the cost is now 100 150 now the marginal cost is 50 okay and uh, the average cost will be simply 150 divided by 12 and that will give us the average cost so what why we need marginal cost marginal cost helps us answer the following question how much does it cost to produce an additional unit of output and we can find the marginal cost by using the formula change in total cost divided by change in quantity and the change in quantity in our previous example was 1 we move from 10 to 11 and the change in cost was 100 rupees so 100 divided by 1 equals 100 but if it was from 10 to 12 we could also see the marginal change and um, then we can put the value of delta q equal to 2 so basically the formula for marginal cost is change in total cost divided by change in quantity if you are finding average marginal fixed uh, marginal fixed cost then instead of total cost we will be using uh, the fixed cost now uh, here is the example where we can calculate the marginal cost again this column uh, the first column uses the quantity we are producing zero units then we are producing one unit then we are producing two units this column shows the total cost when we are producing zero units we were still paying dollar three because of the fixed cost then 3.3 then 3.8 we have already calculated it 
so we know how this total cost uh, has been calculated then we need to find the marginal cost and in order to find the marginal cost the change in quantity here is one and the change in cost here is equal to let me do here do it in this position 3.3 .3 minus uh, minus uh, let me remove that 3.3 .3 minus 3 is equal to 0 0.3 so the marginal cost is 0 0.3 then for one additional unit that is 2 minus 1 is the change in quantity and 3.8 minus 3.3 .3 is the change in uh, the total cost so we end up with 0 0.5 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.5 so this is how we calculate uh, each ma marginal cost and similarly the subsequent marginal costs are calculated in this manner then we compare the uh, total the quantity uh, then we do it for the um, uh, this is a continuation of the quantity we continue uh, the quantity from 6 and 7 then 8 9 10 and calculate the marginal cost using the total cost so this is actually a continuation from here and let's uh, graph these things that we have learned so far on the y-axis we have taken the total cost and on the x-axis we have taken the quantity now plotting all these points against each other now we know how to plot these points what we get here is this line you can see the line it is an upward sloping line the total cost increases as we produce more and more quantity and this relationship we have already identified from the production function the reason behind this is because the marginal productivity of labor is declining the cost for each extra unit gets higher and higher so this is our total cost curve then we find the remaining cost we also uh, graph the remaining cost that we have so far studied here and the graph is in this shape this is the average total cost and the average total cost declines with each and every unit but then it starts rising again and why is this so because the average total cost includes the average fixed cost as well as the average variable cost why is this decline this decline occurs because the average fixed cost reduces drastically in the beginning but later on its effect is uh, diminishing and then the average variable cost since average variable cost increases with each and every unit it pulls the graph upwards again in many cases you may see a graph like this for the average total cost the reason is that the average fixed cost uh, pushes the graph downward initially and then the average variable cost pushes the graph upwards let us see the other relationship this is the average fixed cost and you see it is declining continuously and uh, why is this declining continuously because the fixed cost is fixed it does not change with quantity 
let's say if you are paying 100 rupees and we are producing one unit so the fixed cost per one unit is 100 rupees and that 100 rupees may be the rent for the land or for the shop or for the firm and when we are producing the second unit we are still paying 100 rupees so then that will be divided by 2 and we will get 50 so from 100 we move to 50 average fixed cost and then in the third stage we divide it by 3 and so on it declines but with a diminishing rate then we have the marginal cost and we know that marginal cost increases with each and every unit and this is because the because of the marginal uh, productivity each and every unit uh, when we increase labor each and every unit gets costlier and hence the marginal cost is an upward sloping curve then the average variable cost again the average variable cost increases over time and as i said uh, it pushes the graph of the average total cost upwards now here what we have learned so far that the marginal cost rises with the amount of output produced why does that happen that because that is because of the marginal productivity of the factors that we are using this, ref this reflects the property of the diminishing marginal product and we have discussed that in previous lectures so if you still do not understand it uh, i would recommend visiting uh, that lecture on the cost that we have covered earlier then the average total cost curve is u-shaped why is it u-shaped because uh, again i have discussed it it declines initially because of the decline in the average fixed cost and then rises because of an increase in the average variable cost at very low levels of the output average total cost is high because the fixed cost is spread over only a few units and the average total cost declines as the output increases then the average total cost starts rising because the average variable cost rises substantially that's all about today's lecture in the next lecture we are going to summarize all these discussions and uh, we are going to study these costs in a little bit more more detail and uh, we are also going to introduce the long run and short run concepts in these costs so thank you for watching and if you have any question please do ask in the comment section.